Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we got some unboxing to do. Our good friends at CaffreLab.com were generous enough to send us some of their products to look over and review. I can't wait to give you my input. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are, CaffreLab.com sending me some of their goodies for me to go over with you guys and uh, right from the get-go it looks awesome. Awesome guys, awesome. Before we get started, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll be bringing you VW videos like this each and every week. And also for the price of a cup of coffee, you can send us a small PayPal donation. Keeps this content going, keeps it alive. Anything you can contribute is very appreciative to us and we thank you for that. And uh, it could be a couple bucks, it could be whatever you want. And uh, in the end, I really thank you guys for following the content. Uh, so guys, go to CaffreLab.com to get this product. It's Classic VW Bugs 10. It's a 10% coupon code that you guys can use. The links are in the description below this video. So if you have any questions, uh, just pop me an email or leave it in the comment section below. So these guys are doing their own crafts work. They're doing their own machining in-house in the United States. They've got a couple places in Europe. Uh, really, really fine quality stuff. Now, I've been complaining about a lot of the parts suppliers uh, these days. It just feels like everything's getting cheapened, uh, cheapened out. Uh, just the quality, the fit and finish is just not there. Uh, but I got to tell you, I think Kaffir Lab is doing something uh, pretty special here. The, the, the quality of the finish is really, really nice. I mean, even this awesome Head Mueller bag, I mean, it's got a good weight to it. It does not feel like plastic at all. It's got a good quality fit and finish, guys. So let's start from the top. What you see here are just a row of scriptures, emblems that you can put on your Volkswagen. Uh, pretty much you're gonna wanna put this on a flat surface. I'm not sure if they can bend to do any sort of curvature, but it's probably just ideal to put it on a flat surface. So how about we do this? We'll grab this Volks rod, and now what they have on the back of these are, it's a self-adhesive. So you take off this green strip here, or a red strip, which they have on, and then it's basically like a 3M stick, I uh, I'm assuming. Uh, so it would have an adhesive back to it, so no drilling involved when it comes to putting these on your vehicle. Now you can put these on a gear, of course, a bus, a you know, a bug, fastback, whatever you guys want, anything Volkswagen or anything you want, really, you know, you guys can, can use these. I mean, the finish is really nice. I mean, you could just see it gleaming here on camera. So, let's see, V-Dub Dude, how about that? Let's take a look. So, I mean, cool spots on a Beetle could be here, right in the front quarter panel, maybe below the chrome trim. You know, maybe you could find a spot on the fender, but it's kind of rounded here. You know, they used to have like the VW scripture, uh, Volkswagen scripture that went this way on the front hood. That might be able to work if these can bend. I don't think they can bend though. I don't really want to break anything. So I'm assuming a flat surface is probably best. So um, you can put it on a, put it down here. Wherever you guys like, I would say a flat surface this will stick onto. Uh, just take the self-adhesive back off. And they got many different sayings and many different uh, types of lingo, so to speak, to put on your Volkswagen. You could just see these right here. Now, if you're a purist, I know you might not want to put some of these on your bug. This is perfect for someone who's got the custom beetle, the cow look beetle, the rat rod beetle. Really, really nice stuff, guys. And what I like too is you don't have to drill any holes uh, in your body to put these on. So if you did change your mind later on, you want to take it off, this should come off without a problem. But these are really cool. I like some of the slogans they got going. These would be perfect for t-shirts too. <laughs> so with air power, one hot VW, fat four, fast back, air cooled, bay window, V-dub bus, V-dub dude, always V-dub. Low and slow is awesome. German air is awesome. 
You got square back, Carmen Ghia. This is just a few that they've sent me, guys. Really, really cool. If you have a bus or a Carmen Ghia, square back, fast back, notch back, uh, you have many more flat surfaces on those vehicles as opposed to a Beetle. So you could put these on any one of those vehicles and just find a cool spot and just stick it on. Um, just fit and finish is awesome, guys. And let's move over here. This is a gauge holder, so you would actually mount this on your steering column. So you would just undo this here. And then this section here goes on the steering column, I'm assuming. Looks like this extends and opens up. Yes, it does. So you would unscrew this, and this would go around your steering column, and you would fit your gauge in here. So if you have a temperature gauge, you have a, uh, a tachometer, something like that, uh, you can put your gauges here. And they have a great picture and a, and a description on their website on how this would mount. And uh, another pretty cool item. I mean, the chrome and finish is just really nice on these things, guys. This is pretty cool too, guys. You got an, uh, an e-brake here, and man, the weight of this feels just so awesome. I mean, just the quality of the metal. Look at how thick this metal is, guys. This is not some cheap China stuff that's gonna break on you when you pull up the e-brake handle. Really nice stuff. Again, this is you know more geared towards somebody that's got a Volksrad or a Cowla car. Um, or a custom beetle. I know some of you purists out there are probably not going to, you know, you might not look into something like this, but it's something to reconsider because uh, the, the, the finish is just awesome. You know, some of these aftermarket handles that are out there today are just do not meet the quality of this finish that you see here. Oh, the famous Hebmuller. Has anybody out there got a Hebmuller? <laughs> it's a rare bird, guys, uh, but it is an amazing car, a two-seater roaster beetle that they made for a very short time. Uh, and uh, Kaffir Lab is ap actually repopping the badges for the Hebmuller. Now, I'm not saying you got to put it on a Hebmuller, you can put it on your beetle. And uh, you're giving tribute to the Hebmuller when you put it on your beetle or any other Volkswagen for that matter. Uh, but man, this is like, reminds me of the, the weight of this, the thickness of this, I mean, just to finish it, it reminds me of the Batman uh, symbol that Batman would throw uh, to get his enemies or to brand them. <laughs> this is awesome. I love the Hebmuller. It's a dream car of mine. And just to have this on my Beetle would be just very special. Uh, so check that out. You got two holes to mount. Uh, you could probably use um, some some nice chrome nails, uh, you know, sheet metal screws or something, or tacks. I've used a tack before uh, to put um, my Carmen badge on my convertible, so you can do that too. Uh, but how cool is this? Let's bring this over to my convertible. Do, 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 do. That's a project for my wife. 68 semi automatic. Here's my 61 convertible that I just finished. So here's my Carmen badge that I put on there, and I, we use just uh, some, some tacks here, not a screw head, if you can see that. Boom, boom. But how cool would that be with the Carmen badge, with the, uh, the Hebular badge? Oh man, that looks awesome. Check that out. Oh, how cool. <laughs> I'm floored by that. That looks awesome, especially with that color of the beetle. Uh, geez, I mean, I guess you could even put it on, could put it on a glove box. Even that scriptures or the emblems you can put on uh, your dash. You want to put low and slow down here, air cooled down here on your glove box door. That's cool too. But yeah, man, I mean, look at that. How cool. Now here we have some shift knobs. And uh, if you look at these shift knobs here, uh, you got, of course, you got the ivory here and you got this black one with the red stripe. They have other uh, colors as well for those stripes. So check on their website. And uh, here's this straight black one. Now these are the 10 millimeter uh, threaded shift knob. So anything up to, I believe, early 61 uh, will have this 10 millimeter thread. So you'll need, you know, a shifter uh, like this with this big thread on it. Um, after that, they went to seven millimeter. So, uh, but they have other knobs for those. Uh, and they even have knobs with logos and emblems on the knobs themselves. So if you want the Wolfsburg badge here on the, the shift, knob they have those as well 
so really, really cool. Again, the fit and finish is just awesome. I mean, it almost it feels like a, a cue ball from a pool table. You know, the white cue ball. I mean, the weight is really nice. The thickness of it, it just doesn't. This doesn't have that cheap feeling that we're so accustomed to feeling today. So uh, that's what's really awesome. And Kaffir Lab, guys, if you just go there, uh, I think you'd be really impressed. They have so many products. And they got a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, so really, really cool stuff, guys. Now this one is nice. This is the clutch adjusting nut. <laughs> if you guys are uh, accustomed to the butterfly uh, wing nut that they have to adjust your clutch, uh, your clutch cable, your pedal, your free play uh, for your clutch, you know it can be difficult to turn that butterfly. So when you have this now, you have a little more leverage here. Of course, you can get your hand up in there. I mean, it's a beautiful finish just for something that's going to be under the car. Too bad you're not going to see it more often, right? <laughs> but uh, you have more leverage this way. I can put my fingers into these slots here and have some more leverage to turn and adjust your clutch cable. So very, very cool. Uh, again, the weight and the finish of it is just spectacular. Now check this out. This is pretty cool. It's the Telefunken antenna accessory. I thought this was pretty cool. Telefunken is a very rare radio that was, you know, pretty much offered during the split window time. Uh, but all this does is slip right down your antenna. And it's a nice little addition. A little more bling for your car to have on here. And finally, this might look odd to some, but what this is, is the optional armrest that they used to offer for early Beetle. They give you the mounting hardware. So this rod would mount to the backrest of your driver's seat and then be in the middle between the two seats. And then this comes uh, unupholstered, of course, so you'd have to get your own upholstery and padding to wrap this. Uh, but they give you all the mounting hardware to just mount this easy fit and finish on your backrest. How cool is that? Just ask your upholsterer or the guys you, where you get your interior kit from to give you some extra material. And uh, this would be an awesome finish here. Let's go over to my convertible and just give you like a mock-up of what it would look like. All right, so basically, you're gonna get your armrest and you're gonna mount it right in here. And you're gonna mount it to the backrest arms. So here's your backrest, your arms that go down, you will mount it right here. If you can see that. And you'll have an armrest for your driver. How cool. All right, guys, kafferlab.com, another, thank God we got some quality parts that are coming out for our vintage Volkswagens, keeping our dream alive, keeping our cars on the road. And uh, guys, I don't think you can go wrong with these guys. The fit and finish is just spectacular. Um, you know, it just, we're, we're bombarded with a lot of cheap stuff today that's on the market and where they're being made. And uh, this is quality stuff, guys. Kafferlab.com. Uh, and look in the description below this video. I'll have the links to the website where you guys can get a small discount and uh, help you guys out and keep your rides going. So again, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.